So finally, I've got the conditions I want to take some photographs of the amazing fog that we have in the Bay Area in San Francisco. I've been waiting for these conditions for so long. So I'm gonna pack my stuff and get there nice and early. Sunrise is about 6 a.m. in the morning, so I'm gonna try and get there for around about 20 past five, which will mean leaving around about half past four. It's gonna be an early morning, but it's gonna be so worth it if the fog conditions are right. So excited about this morning. I've been meaning to come to the fog now on Mount Tam for so many months now. And finally I've got a morning that just look at this. This is just incredible. So what happens in just tell a little bit of history about the history. So I'll just tell you a little bit about the fog. In the summer the ocean gets colder because of the currents bring up the cold water from underneath the ocean and that cold water creates a, mar a marine layer and that and that marine layer obviously is much much colder than the air around it which is really humid so it condenses out all into fog and the fog as you can see is just all over the uh, pacific ocean there and what happens is that that fog comes inland because the westerly breezes blow it in and it replaces the air that is lifting out of the central valleys and that fog gets funneled into where the Golden Gate Bridge is and it just creates incredible fog waves and it just really does create an incredible landscape so here I've, I've just spotted some trees down here that are, there's a there's a path leading down to them but there's also just pockets of trees that I'm trying to get which just creates almost like a, a very abstract image so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick out three pockets of trees um, it's really difficult to get the composition right though because everything's changing there's four things that you need to get right in in photography and that's light well we've got amazing light this morning um, getting up early in the morning you pretty much always do get amazing light you need composition which is difficult because it's changing but we can sort of get, get that right over there there's a brilliant composition appearing as well so things change all the time which brings me to the third thing you need for photography which is timing if you don't get the timing right then the image could change in, in whether the light changes or the fog changes so timing is really important and the final thing is subject where well, we've got an amazing subject so getting timing and composition right will produce such an amazing image this morning and what i want to do is wait in about five minutes the sun's going to rise over there and cast light over these clouds and create more definition so i've got to be careful not to burn out the highlights but it's it's looking great at the moment i've got a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and i probably change that to my 24 to 70 lens just so i can pull out a little bit but it's looking absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit further down. Um, there's a great shot here, but the clouds are just the composition is not quite right high up there, so I've got to be really careful going down this bit. So I'm going to try and get a little lower, and hopefully I can get this in here. So I've now moved, and I'm pointing almost towards where the sun's rising, and this island is there, and the clouds just wisping around. There's a tree. It just looks unbelievable. So I'm going to try two exposures. I'm going to try one, which is just probably about a 30th of a second and I'm going to take another one with my 10 stop ND filter and see if I can get some movement and waves in these clouds. Let's have a go and see what we get.
As my fellow photographers just reminded me, sometimes you've just got to stop and watch the amazing landscape. It's just unbelievable just to take this in. Get out early, get up to the top of the mountain, and just sit and watch it all. It is absolutely stunning. The fog is just flowing in over there. If I just shoot it around there, but you can see just over there, the fog's just coming in really quickly. There's no noise, it's so quiet. Just hear a few crickets. A goose, or maybe a, it's probably not a goose, I don't, not very good with animals. But it's so peaceful, so beautiful. Okay. That is awesome. I've got to take this photo now. <laughs> oh my words. It's a turkey. Figured out it's a turkey. It's very noisy. There's a big turkey and a little turkey. I presume male and female. I have no, no idea about turkey.